Hi guys, my name is Nadine and welcome to Feel Note Taking 101. So in the following videos, I'll be trying to teach you guys all about field note taking and how to do great observations. So to get you guys ready, we're going to start off by talking about how you can prepare yourself when you're ready to go to, into the field. So to do that, we need to know about the basics of the basics. So what are field notes? As you might have guessed, field notes are notes that you take while you're out in the field doing your field, uh, field studies or interviews or any type of qualitative research. Uh, the cool thing about this is that there's no specific way you need to write down your notes or your observations, but it is uh, recommended that you do have two sections that are very, very important, which are descriptive and reflective information or notes. So descriptive notes are basically your observations. So you're going to write exactly what you're seeing, what you're hearing, um, what type of behaviors you're seeing people uh, have, or the type of uh, actions they're doing, whether, whether at your location. Reflective notes have to do more with, um, with you as an observer. So it has to do more with whatever assumptions, questions, uh, uh, what's it called, any, any thoughts you might have about whatever you're seeing. Next, we're going to talk about the characteristics of field notes. So it's super, super, super important that your notes are precise, detailed, and thorough. These notes are what will guide you with your research, will help you out if you decide to write a research article, and it will help you remember exactly what it was like when you were out in that location. So it's important that you're precise, um, you have detailed notes, but you have to be careful because you don't honestly want to add unnecessary notes and be thorough. It, the more details you add to your observations, the better for you. And it will help you out in, in understanding better what you were seeing, especially if you're like studying a type of phenomena or culture or, or something like that. So the more thorough, the better for you. Next, we're going to talk about what you should be writing when you're, when you're out there, right? So, uh, first, I recommend you write about the physical setting. So talk about where the location is, if, if it's indoors, if it's outdoors, if, there, if the weather that day for some reason impacted your research. So yeah, talk about the setting. It's very important. Talk about the actions, uh, the activities that might be going on at that place or that people might be doing. Uh, let's say you're doing your research at a park, then you can write about how you see kids playing soccer or parents communicating with one another. That also has to do with people and people's interactions. So how are people interacting with one another? Are there strangers who are formally saying hi to one another just because they're passing by? Or do you see like a group of friends hanging out and like uh, giving each other high fives and hugs? And yeah. Uh, also try to talk about the interaction you see within the social environment. So how are people acting when they are at that specific location? So let's go back to the park example. Are people walking around, leaning on the trees? Are they laying on the grass? Things like that. How are they involving themselves in the environment? How are they interacting with it? And lastly, talk about the communication styles. There are so many ways people communicate nowadays through phones, through hand gestures, through face gestures. Uh, there's so many ways. So any, any detail that you might catch with communication, uh, write it down. 